Hi, this is Tyson, and you are watching another episode of JavaScript Vignettes. Today we're going to look at how we can convert an array to an object. In the last episode we looked at how we could convert an object to an array, and so now we're just going to be doing that in reverse. Um, but it's going to take some different a different method, and we're going to look at that in just a second. So we're going to start out by building up our, our uh, sample array that we want to convert. So we're going to just call this R, and it's going to be an array with an ID and name. We'll go back to the JavaScript, uh, so different, the different languages we had before. Uh, Alright, so now if we log out our array, we have just a basic simple array with um, an ID and a name for each, uh, for each object in the array. So now, what we want to do is we want to convert this to something that's indexed by the ID. So instead of an array, we want an object. Um, so the first key would be 1, and then it would have the same stuff that the first item in the array has. And, uh, and then the second key would be 2, and it would have the same stuff the second item in the array has. And uh, this can be useful for things like if you wanted to easily look stuff up by an ID, um, this would be one way to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do array.reduce. And the uh, reduce function takes the previous state um, as you keep iterating through your array, um, and then it also takes the current state, like the current item in the array that you're looping through. So for the first time, it'll be the the object with ID one named JavaScript, and uh, and then it also takes as the second argument, it takes your uh, initial state that you want this uh, thing that you're building up to be. So this could be like an array. If you're building up an array, um, it could be like an empty. Uh, string if you're building up a string, but in our case we're building up an object, so we're just going to do the an uh, empty object, and we're going to at the end of this we're going to want to return our previous state, um, but we're going to want to uh, add on to the previous state as we're if it's we're uh, going through this. So the first time through we're going to say prev, and then uh, we're going to get the current dot id. So the current um, in this case is going to be um, the first time it through is going to be the object with the ID of one and the name of JavaScript, and it's going to keep looping through. So we can also we'll add the current to that key that we just built, and then we're just returning it. And so it's going to keep looping through the array until it's built up the entire object. So we run that, and there you have it. You have um, the first the first item is one, um, the second item is two, and the third item is three. They're indexed by keys and it's an object now instead of an array. And that's basically all you would have to do to convert a, a array to an object in JavaScript. Hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you learned a lot.